Good morning, Sinclair Community College. It's time for a news update from the editors at your student paper, The Clarion. I'm Andrew. And I'm Jennifer. To read the full stories on our website, just click the red subheads that appear at the bottom of the screen. The 14th annual Black Man Think Tank will take place on campus this Saturday. The conference is designed to bring together African Americans on campus and in the community to discuss their historical impact throughout history on invention, technology, and mathematics. Also this week, the Office of Service Learning and the Office of Campus Ministry are teaming up to sponsor Better Together Day, which will take place Thursday in the library. The event includes a trip to the Dayton International Peace Museum, where students and faculty give input on some of the museum's newest exhibits. Sinclair recently announced it would reserve a plot of land that will eventually be used as a campus garden. In this edition, the Clarion catches up with members of the new environmental club, The Green Machine, to see what they have planned for the garden and when they expect to start breaking ground. This week, the Clarion also explores comic books and the historical and political effects they have on American culture. The graduating student art show is set to take place next Monday through May 1st. Check out the story on page 4 for a description of the show and input from Sinclair art students whose work will be represented. On April 15th, the student government will host its Spring Fling event located in the basement of Building 8. The Spring Fling will feature music, games, and representatives from various clubs on campus. Proceeds from the event will go to the S3 Student Scholarship Fund. April is Autism Awareness Month. This week's centerpiece recognizes the disorder by featuring Amber Esquivero Wright, a Sinclair student and mother of an autistic child. Oh, I would love to light Sinclair at blue. I really, really, really think that Sinclair should step in as a college because they have students that are autistic they have families there in my class alone of 30 there is three families not including mine that are affected with kids by autism and I think that St. Clair stepping in and just even doing the outside change the light bulbs for a day you know let your students and faculty know that as a as a university you care you know just having just having to know that somebody cares, having to know that you guys are sitting here listening to me, that's the biggest accomplishment. I, I could never have asked for anything better because I'm getting it out there. I'm speaking for a child who can't speak for himself. And that needs to happen for everybody. Whether you're affected by it or not, it needs to be put out there. The Traditional Values Club featured an event last week titled How to Avoid Falling in Love with a Jerk or Jerkette. The Clarion's editor, Whitney Vickers, was there to cover the event. This was, uh, what we're talking about comes from a book called How to Avoid Falling in Love with a Jerk or Jerkette. And the whole goal of the book is how do you pace a growing relationship so that you can avoid getting hurt, um, or at least reduce it, because there's no foolproof method. But the beauty of, of it, it goes through a, a method of how do you keep balance in the bonding that happens between two people, and making sure that you grow a, a loving relationship and you pace it in certain ways that you reduce that, that hurt. He's done a lot of research and he talks about the difference between deciding and sliding. And deciding means that where I make a commitment and I'm going to go into this with a commitment to the person versus what a lot of people do when it comes to cohabitation is it's, we slide into it. You know, we, we start dating and we realize, oh, this is great, we're over their house a lot, and so I'll just leave a toothbrush over there, and then I'll leave some clothes over there. And then, before I know it, it's, actually it's more economical uh, for us to just move together and then we'll pay. And, and then, before we know it, we kind of slid into this versus made a decision of, I'm committed to you, you're committed to me, and we're going to do this, you know, come heck or high water. And for more on relationships, see Whitney's story in this week's issue. If you're interested in working for The Clarion, we're currently hiring reporters, an advertising representative, a web technician, and a distributing coordinator. For more information or to inquire about these positions, visit us in our office located in the basement of Building 8, Room 027. As always, if you have any story ideas or would like to contribute your own original opinion piece, feel free to email us at clarion at sinclair.edu. And be sure to check out the newest issue of The Clarion on stands April 7th through April 14th.